The MC-12 Liberty, a plane that first arrived at Beale Air Force Base on June 6, 2011, completed its final flight, or Finney flight, as part of Air Combat Command on September 16. The plane's history stretches back to 2008 when the Secretary of Defense was looking for a new solution to help with the intelligence gathering capabilities that would allow military leaders to make real-time battlefield decisions. The Finney flight is nothing different than a normal training mission. It's a normal training mission. It'll just be the last normal training mission held at Beale Air Force Base until those aircraft go to their next mission set and their next operators. From concept to combat, the MC-12 was one of the fastest acquisitioned aircraft since the P-51 Mustang, performing its first mission in June of 2009, only a year after the Project Liberty idea was first presented. Since then, it's flown more than 400,000 combat hours and participated in more than 79,000 combat sorties. Its presence on the battlefield has helped divert convoys around improvised explosive devices, been a watchful eye for coalition forces, and has saved countless lives. So there is some specialized equipment on the airplane, but I think the most specialized part is the airmen executing the mission, uh, and they became very, very proficient at finding the bad guys. The MC-12 Finney flight acts as a positive step in the transformation of joint capabilities. Even though it's leaving Beale Air Force Base, the aircraft's reconnaissance mission continues on. This Finney flight was a really big deal because not only was it the Finney flight for the airmen involved, it was the Finney flight for the aircraft at Beale and the end of a brief but very, very historic program for the Air Force. And so, close of a significant chapter for Beale, but we're not closing the book just yet until we get our airmen home. Reporting from Beale Air Force Base, California, I'm Airman First Class Benjamin Buganig.